ESPN presents the 1984 Final Four featuring the Virginia Cavaliers, the Houston Cougars, the Georgetown Hoyas, and the Kentucky Wildcats. Welcome again to our look back at the Final Fours of the past. I'm Bob Lee. Seattle, the Emerald City, was the site for 1984. And to complete the imagery in the beautiful Pacific Northwest, there was indeed a large yellow brick road painted right outside the kingdom in Seattle. Kentucky came in with their twin towers of Sam Bowie and Melvin Turpin, the top seed out of the Mideast. Georgetown had gotten a major scare in the tournament from SMU in the western region. They survived that and won the regional final against Dayton. Houston, Phi Slamma Jamma back again, hoping to capitalize on their third straight Final Four appearance. And Virginia, the wild card, which had knocked off Indiana, which had, remember, of course, knocked off North Carolina. So it was the Wahoos out of the East. Houston and Virginia, the first semifinal on tap, and they couldn't contain it inside 40 minutes. We'll follow the Yellow Brick Road to the Emerald City, Seattle, in 1984, right after this word. A beautiful pass to Othell Wilson, Virginia 12, Houston 16, 827 to go. The four-point difference holds until Akeem makes his second basket with under five minutes to play in the first half. Houston's lead is six. And growing with Young's 10-foot bank shot. The Cavaliers spring to life, and in less than a minute, Wilson makes it 25 to 19. Teammate Rick Carlisle makes it 25 21. The Cavaliers are rebounding too. Sheehy. Wilson. Carlisle. Back to Wilson. Polonese, and suddenly it's 25 to 23. What a play, and the big freshman center knows it. So do Virginia's fans, who bring their Cavaliers into halftime, trailing by just two points. Both teams have 13 rebounds. Houston's shooting percentage is 54.5%, much better than Virginia's 44%. Houston's one-time 10-point lead is gone. Second half action. Wilson, from 19 feet. The game is tied 25 to 25. Seconds later, Wilson is fouled by Elijah Watt. He makes both shots. Virginia leads 27 to 25. The next 12 minutes are pure seesaw basketball. Young on a fast break. Houston, 30 to 29. Virginia Stokes, 31-30. Back and forth it goes with 7.40 remaining. Geddes gives Houston the lead again, 36 to 35. The Cougars stubbornly build their lead over the next three minutes. Four minutes left, two big points by Olajuwon. Make the score 41-35, Houston. Coach Holland's face tells its own story. With 3.20 to go, Carlisle nails this one 41 to 37. But two free throws push Houston's lead back to six. Less than three minutes left. Jim Miller wrestles in a basket, 43 to 39 Houston. With 235 to go, Holland calls timeout. Stokes replaces Carlisle. He feeds Wilson. 43 to 41, 213 to go. With under a minute left. Houston is struggling. Only two free throws in the last three minutes. A jump ball gives the Cougars the ball. Only 37 seconds left. Suddenly, Wilson steals the ball from Franklin. It's a tie ball game. There are two quick turnovers in the next 30 seconds, but neither side can score. Overtime. The extra five-minute period is its own separate game. Both teams are exhausted. Both know it's far from over. Virginia strikes first on a 20-foot jumper by Carlisle. 3.51 to go. A minute later, Olajuwon ties it with two foul shots, 45 to 45. 60 seconds later, 
A quick inbound flip to Young makes it 47 to 45 Houston. Now more than ever, one shot can make the difference as seconds tick by. This could be it. Miller shoots. No. Elijah on brings it down. Houston comes up court. Akeem shoots. He misses. Winslow slam follow up. Put Houston ahead 49 to 45. Two Virginia free throws bring it within two points. The Cavaliers get the ball down court as fast as possible. It doesn't happen. Wilson loses the ball. Young throws to Franklin as time runs out. Houston, 49 to 47. The lowest winning score in a semifinal game in 35 years. Young paces the Cougars with 17. Virginia set out to contain Elijah Wan and holds him to just 12 points. The victory has been grueling for players and fans alike. And it isn't over because Houston has to wait and see who they will meet in the final. The answer will be decided between Georgetown and Kentucky.